Hello and welcome to the Espionage Exposé. I am your host, Emma Laughlin, and today we will be discussing the uncovering of the pro-Soviet espionage group, the Silver Master Spy Ring. Now, when most individuals think of Soviet espionage in the United States, they normally think of the most infamous spies such as Julius and Ethel Rosenberg, who were convicted and executed for running an underground spy network, and Klaus Fuchs, who was found to be giving information about the Manhattan Project to the Soviet Union. Surprisingly, however, not many people know about the Silver Master Spy Ring, which is arguably one of the most important espionage networks in the United States. Despite sounding like the most generic name for a spy network, the Silver Master Spy Ring, which ran from approximately 1945 to 1948, was the largest known spy network, and even consisted of some mid-level U.S. government officials. In 1945, Elizabeth Bentley, a defected American spy for the Soviet Union, claimed that she had connections to a spy ring founded by a man named Nathan Gregory Silvermaster. In 1948, her statements were released to the public. Before Bentley's defection, her husband, Jacob Golis, was the intermediary between the Silver Master spy group and the NKGB, the Soviet Union's secret police, until his death in 1943. Bentley herself was Golis's assistant until his death, and can still continue to work with the group until her defection. Now, it must be mentioned that Elizabeth Bentley's allegations are controversial, as they were not backed up with any evidence at the time. In her allegations, Elizabeth Bentley claimed that multiple U.S. government officials were affiliated with the Silver Master spy group, including Franklin Delano Roosevelt's advisor in economic affairs, Lachlan Curry, and Assistant Secretary of the Treasury, Harry Dexter White. Both Curry and White denied any allegations of affiliation with the Soviet Union, and even defended Silvermaster when he was accused of espionage. Harry Dexter White testified for himself, but suddenly suffered from a fatal heart attack just a few days after he spoke about his innocence. Lachlan Curry, on the other hand, was forced to become a citizen of Columbia after suspicions of his treachery. After the Silver Master spy group disbanded, Elizabeth Bentley was asked to be a double agent for the United States. However, those plans were quickly shot down when Soviet officials learned of her defection. Ultimately, very few members who were accused of affiliation with the Silver Master group were ever convicted or even brought to trial. However, that does not mean that the group's act of espionage had no effect on the public view of communism. The uncovering of the Silver Master spy group, as well as other acts of Soviet espionage by government officials, helped generate fear of the spread of communism, which would eventually lead to the infamous spread of McCarthyism in the 1950s. So, how exactly does this all relate to American imperialism? Looking at the definition of imperialism, which is essentially the things that empires do, one could say that espionage has a huge role in imperialism, whether it is done by the empire or to the empire. Like any large and powerful empire, the United States will always have an opposing force that will want to either diminish, surpass, or counter its imperialism, especially during the beginning of the Cold War, when the United States was stuck in a power struggle with the Soviet Union. That being said, espionage against the United States is of course not a new concept. However, what was unique to this case was the fact that there were government officials who were working with the group, which helped cause a nationwide spread of paranoia, which, as mentioned earlier, eventually paved the way for McCarthyism. In spite of its relative anonymity, the Silver Master spy ring had a major effect on the United States' imperialism. Well, that concludes this week's session of the Espionage Exposé. Tune in next week where we will be discussing President Trump's wiretapping claims and how Big Brother Obama is watching you from your everyday household appliances.